Hollywood's biggest night is just days away and we'll be covering all the excitement live from the red carpet. It's a busy weekend, so I've got my Dunkin' Donuts coffee to keep me going. Watch the stars arrive live this Sunday and remember the red carpet runs on Dunkin'. Schmidt reporting in on the Skyway. Octavia Spencer, she already has an Oscar and tonight she is nominated once again. We sat down with her and played a little round of this or that. Thank you very much, Leslie. Now, no matter what happens inside the Dolby Theatre in Hollywood tonight, Ruth Nager will end up with an Oscar. An Oscar Wilde Award, that is. From the velvet ropes of Hollywood's hottest after parties, this is On the Red Carpet After the Oscars. I'm here in Beverly Hills at the Vanity Fair Party, which is, without a doubt, one of the biggest, fanciest, brightest, loudest parties to be at here on Entertainment's Night of Nights, the Oscars. All right, joining us live now, an Oscar winner herself, Reese Witherspoon. Hi, how are well, you? I'm good. What did you think of tonight, first off? I thought it was great. Really well done, really well produced, and I really enjoyed it. Now, Reese, you've won an Oscar. So tell me, for those winners tonight, what's going through their mind now? Now it's party time. The awards are over. What What's going through the mind of them now as they get into the party mode? Um, I have no idea. I just think they want to have fun and enjoy themselves. Okay, so I am here at the Subway Sandwich Restaurant on Figueroa Street, right by the USC campus. And today, customers coming out of this shop think I am going to be doing a story on healthy lunch options. But I'm not. It's a ruse. It's a trick. Because I'm really here to give away these four tickets to the USC Notre Dame game. And all these customers have to do is offer me a bite of their sandwich. Can I have a quick chat to you about your lunch? I'm doing, what about a bite of your sandwich? No? That's strike one. I'm starving. You want to give me a bite? <laughs> I'll give you some hot Cheetos. You want some hot Cheetos? Hot Cheetos, but I don't get a bite of the sandwich. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. I'll be out there soon. Now, in the meantime, look who I ran into. It's OTRC correspondent Carl Schmid. What are you doing in here? I'm sneaking around, George. You know, there's not a nook or cranny in this theater that won't go undiscovered by me. I am hoping to run into supermodel and host for tonight, Gigi Hadid. I caught up with her the other day. Check it out. So I've been down here for the last couple of days keeping an eye on things and that has meant we have had full behind the scenes access to the performers, watching them getting ready, doing what they do best ahead of tonight's big show. Take a look. As the Aussie host of Operation Vacation, I'm always on the go. So catching a cold isn't an option. That's why I always make time to exercise. I'm really into nutrition, so eating healthy and staying hydrated is key to avoiding colds. And looking good. Over the years, the hotel fell into despair and neglect. In fact, it's safe to say a couple of years ago, you wouldn't even want to be in here. But let me tell you, that has changed. We all have funny little quirks and things we do when we check into hotels. Mine, and this might be oversharing, is to sniff the pillows. And I'm happy to say, Hotel Normandy pillows fresh as a daisy. There is nothing worse than coming off a long haul flight or having worked all day, putting your head on the pillow and it's stinking. I am happy to say that Hotel Normandy <laughs> checks out. Welcome to the Coca-Cola Red Carpet Live at the 2014 American Music Awards. Now, as you can see behind us, the media are getting into place. All the last minute touches are being made. This red carpet has been vacuumed within an inch of its life. My mother would be proud. I'm Carl Schmid. Rachel, talk about fun. Yeah, the Golden Globes, they've got a reputation for being a little bit more casual and relaxed than some of the other big award shows of the season. That's not to say, though, that the stars walking this red carpet don't take it seriously. Welcome back. It's 22 minutes past seven. Let's go over to Hollywood now for all the latest news from entertainment reporter Carl Schmidt. Morning. Morning, Carl. Big Good name morning. for you. He's taken over our TVs and our radios. Now he wants to control our internet. Simon Cowell has made an announcement that he's organizing an online uh, talent show through YouTube. Take a look. Good morning, Alan and Lorraine. Good morning, everyone. Yes, payday. The numbers are in for the highest paid actors in Hollywood of 2012, 2013. Number three on the list, a fellow countryman of mine, Hugh Jackman. Today is about a young man who's all about making a difference in the lives of, well, pretty much everyone. They're all siblings, pretty much. Anyway, I've got sisters, a sister-in-law, brother-in-law, and a friend whose name is Nazma, it's like a sister. Anyway, I'm on my way to meet the friends and family of Jackie Brooks. Now, you know that term, super mum? 
doesn't even come close to describing this woman. I want to see the reaction. I just say we go and do the surprise. All right, all right, all right. Are you all ready? <laughs> yes. yes. And are you ready? I was ready last night. <laughs> Charlie, are you ready? Yes. I'm ready. Let's go get the show on the road. Come on, let's go surprise. Give us the good news. Come on. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Okay. I'm ready. Open. So good. Check out OTRC.com to find out her nickname and get all your hot Hollywood headlines there throughout the weekend. I'm Carl Schmidt on the red carpet in Los Angeles.